Good morning, Calvary, and welcome to your word for the day. My name is Pastor Mitch, and today I get to share with you my personal journey to freedom in my relationship with Jesus. See, I had the awesome opportunity of growing up in a Christian house. I attended church at Christian Life Center in Missoula, Montana since birth, and I even went to a Christian school off and on through my sixth grade year. We moved to Havasu at the end of eighth grade and started going to our church here in town, but it never quite fit right for us. We tried a few other churches, never Calvary, before we basically ended up giving up, and then we only attended church casually. If it fit into our schedules, we'd go, but I stopped going to youth group consistently and started hanging out with a different crowd. And then halfway through my senior year in high school, I started to hang out uh, with this crowd that partied a lot, and I did a lot of stupid things. And one day, on my way to one of my buddies' house for a party, out of the blue, I felt God speak to my heart. It wasn't this super loud voice that came from the sky as the clouds parted, but it was something that I knew was not one of my own thoughts. I wasn't praying much of the time, and so this was super unusual for me, but God simply asked me what I was doing with my life and why I was wasting it the way that I was. I remember pulling over my car as I was driving, and the spot wasn't some super cool spiritual place. It was actually the empty corner lot of Avalon in North Kiowa. And as I sat there, I kept giving God all these excuses and lame rationalizations for what I was doing, and nothing I thought of was a good reason. It was as if the moment I thought of the reason, I knew it was a bad excuse before I could even finish that thought. So after that, I made a commitment to learn everything I could about God. I got rid of some bad influences in my life and then replaced them with good ones. I read through the Bible as fast as I could and joined some Bible groups at the school. And many of my priorities began to shift in my life. My definition of success and thoughts about how I wanted to spend my time uh, began to change. And I finally felt like I was doing what I was made to do instead of following the path that I thought would give me the most joy or the most money. And the crazy thing is that I can no longer see myself doing anything other than what God has led me to do right now. I love investing in the future generations. I love hearing the stories of our youth and teens and how God is working in their lives. I love hearing about students who used to consider themselves enemies and are now praying for each other and encouraging one another. I love seeing our teens and young adults serve in our kids' ministry and leading in 5-6 and leading worship on the weekends. I love seeing the difference that a caring adult can make in the life of one of our students. I love seeing these ministries grow bigger, and I love seeing these students grow in their faith and relationship with God. I love the fact that I baptize more students a year here at Calvary than most churches baptize in their entire church in 10 years. See, when we live out the calling that God has for us and we discover the freedom that we have in Christ, it changes everything. My challenge for you today is just to ask God two simple questions. What is one thing that you need to do more of in your life? And what is one thing that you need to do less of? Focus on living in freedom in Christ and see what changes he begins to make in your life. Thank you for tuning in to your word for the day. Like and share this video, and we will see you tomorrow.